Welcome to AndroidVideoReview.net's video review of Speedtest.net for Android. I'm the Sherwinator, and today we're taking a look at this diagnostic tool. Speedtest.net is a website that you can go to to uh, track your downloads and download and upload speeds. It finds local servers, or not local servers, but um, relatively close servers across the country, and it'll have you download information from there and then upload it and it's your ping rate it's determining how long it takes for both processes to uh, go through so when I start it up I think I might have clicked eBay nope uh, see it says finding closest server so it's tracking it based probably on location and on your IP address and then you hit begin test and you can see here it gives you a speedometer type readout. It's telling you the server it's connected to, the uh, ping, the, how uh, complete the download is right here, ping rate, download percentage, and then it'll go to upload once it's done downloading. And you can see here this it's making a graph, so for every kilobyte it's downloading, it's showing you, uh, you know, the speed at which it's downloading. So download speed is 534 kilobytes per second, which just before I ran a test, it was 730. Both are actually relatively fast for my network because for whatever reason, it's DSL. It runs awful. It runs like 115 kilobytes per second a lot of the times. The upload speed is actually kind of quick for me, which is pathetic. <laughs> this is just pathetic speeds. Um, as you can see, I want to try to cover it up because it's going to give you my... Um, IP address, which I don't want the whole web knowing. Um, so you could change the display speed. You could uh, display speeds in, so you can do kilobytes or megabytes or kilobytes or a kilobit, whatever it is. Uh, sort history, you can change it from the least his, uh, least recent test to the most recent. And animations, like with a graph, um, it'll make your the results like look It'll just make the performance of the application run better uh, if it's less intensive. Hold on, let me go back. Hold on one second. All right, and then under uh, results, you can see all the different tests I've run already, or this is just three on this phone, and uh, the dates it's been the last two days. And um, it'll tell you, you can see like, so I was 534, then I was 710 to 356. So I'm going up and down. My uh, upload speeds too are a little erratic. I don't really know. I'm not running anything on my network now, so I don't know why there's such a big difference. But um, that's basically the app. It's, there's not much to it, but uh, it's a really helpful diagnostic tool, especially if you're upgrading your uh, network, you know, you're getting a new... Uh, Fios line or uh, a new router or something like that and you want to see if there's any difference or if you want to test how much of a drain let's say your Xbox Live is on your network when you're playing games you could run diagnostics like this which is pretty helpful um, so Pro would be uh, you know I, I think it's a very it's a clean application not too much graphics but it's still it's pretty sharp looking I like the colors uh, it's very quick you get a speed readout relatively quickly con would be again my speeds and I've run other tests on other devices and it's also it's not terribly inconsistent but it's hard to tell you know when all my other factors are uh, you know consistent that I'm not really doing anything I'm not running anything on the network and the speeds are going up and down I don't know it probably is a network but who knows maybe it's the application not really running well I don't know so these are things I have to look into but for a diagnostic tool, I think it's uh, a great thing to have. It's free. It's useful. So uh, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. So this has been our video review of speedtest.net's application for Android. Check back on our website for some upcoming reviews.